hi -oh, YouTube! My name is Dexter, and welcome back to Undertale, and I made it to Snowden Town. Welcome to Snowden Town. And apparently we have a nice little uh, cheery christmas -y village. I love this place. The sight of such a friendly town fills you with DETERMINATION! Saving. Alrighty. Hello, traveler. How can I help you? Bye. Tough glove, manly bandana. It has abs on it. Bicycle. Heals 11 HP twice. Eat it twice. Cinnamon bun. It's my own recipe. Uh... Tough glove. Slap him. I'm buying it. I'm gonna buy that too. And I'm gonna leave. Hello, traveler. How can I help you? You can't. Bye now. Come again sometime. Don't tell me my life. Item. Uh, tough glove. Use. You equipped the tough glove. Uh, alright, sea key. Uh, item. Manly bandana. You equipped the manly bandana. Hello! I'm gonna sell you some stuff. Huh? Sell something? Does this look like a pawn shop? I don't know how it works here. I don't know how it works where you come from, but if I started spending money on old branches and used bandages, I'd be out of business in the jiffy. <laughs> I like it. Uh, say hello. Hiya! Welcome to Snowden. I can't remember the last time I saw a fresh face around here. Where did you come from? The capital? You don't look like a tourist. Are you here by yourself? What? Oh, uh, talk. What to do here? You want to know what to do here in Snowden? Grillsby's has food and the library has information. If you're tired, you can take a nap at the inn. It's right next door. My sister runs it. And if you're bored, you can sit outside and watch those wacky skeletons do their thing. There's two of them. Brothers, I think. They just showed up one day and asserted themselves. The town has gotten a lot more interesting since then. Town history. Think back to your history class. A long time ago, monsters lived in the ruins back there in the forest. Long story short, we all decided to leave the ruins and head for the end of the caverns. Along the way, some fuzzy folk decided they liked the cold and set up camp in Snowden. Oh, and don't think about trying to explore the ruins. The door's been locked for ages, so unless you're a ghost or can burrow under the door, forget about it. <laughs> My life. Life is the same as usual. A little claustrophobic, but we all know deep down that freedom is coming, don't we? As long as we got that hope, we can grit our teeth and face the same struggles day after day. That's life, ain't it? See ya. I like the way she, uh... I like the way she so eloquently sums up everything. What's in the inn? Hello. Welcome to Snowden. The Snowed Inn. Snowden's premier hotel. One night is 80 gold. Well, feel free to come back anytime. Who are you? Mom says that sleeping can recover your health above your maximum HP. What's maximum HP? Couldn't tell you. Okay, let's see what happens. One night, stay. Here's your room key. Make sure you bundle up. And make sure to bundle up. <coughs> okay, those things are loud. Hiya! You look like you had a great sleep, which is incredible, because you were only up there for two minutes. <laughs> Here's your money back. You can pay me if you're going to stay overnight. Ah! <laughs> I like it. So what are my stats right now? Oh, I've got 30 HP instead of 20. I like it. Don't want to walk to the other side of town? Try the under snow tunnels. They're efficiently laid out. Who are you? That lady over there. Something about her disturbs me. This lady? Isn't my little cinnamon just the cutest? Bun buns are so adorable. Tee hee. Who are you? Awful teens tormented local monster by decorating its tree-like horns. So we started giving that monster presents to make it feel better. Now it's a tradition to put presents underneath a decorated tree. <laughs> and that's how Christmas starts, boys and girls. Yo, you're a kid too, right? I can tell because you're wearing a striped shirt. You look a lot like the Pokemon Scrafty. This town doesn't have a mayor, but if there's ever a problem, a skeleton will tell a fish lady about it. That's politics. I don't think that's at all politics. What's a Grillby's? Oh, there's the, uh... You better watch where you sit down in here, kid. Because that big guy will jump into your lap and give you lots of love and attention. We're sentries, but we never get any respect. I wish those skeletons would throw us a bone. We love bones. What the hell are you? Hmm, isn't human food different from monster food? It does things like spoil, and when you eat it, it passes all the way through your whole body. Disgusting. I'd love to try it sometime. <laughs> what the hell are you? No matter where I go, it's the same menu, the same people. Help, I want new drinks and uh, hot guys. Hey, who are you? 
I'm thinking of getting a spiked collar to show off my personality. It makes a statement like, attach a leash to me and take me for a walk, please. I don't think that's quite at all what it means. It's a, it's playing poker against itself. It appears to be losing. How do you lose? Okay. I put out a line for some girls today. Someone told me that there are plenty of fish in the sea. Well, I'm taking that seriously. I'm literally going to make out with a fish. I would uh, suggest against that, but you do you, buddy. Those dogs are part of the Royal Guard, the elite military group led by Undyne. She's rude, loud, and beats up everybody who gets in her way. It's no wonder all the kids want to be like her when they grow up. Hey, who are you? The capital is getting pretty crowded, so I've heard they're going to start moving here. Hmm. I don't want to see the insurer, or see the eraser, eraser of our local culture, I, but I definitely want to see some city slickers slip into their, slip onto their butts. Hey, who are you? Grillsby said that he'd offer you a glass of water, but he doesn't touch the stuff. Sorry, Grillsby. Or Grillbys. Grillby. Oh man, there's a jukebox. I just noticed the jukebox. I want to hit it. Jukebox. The jukebox is. Oh damn it. Why is the jukebox broken? Okay, I'm just gonna leave. What the hell's going on with you? Everyone is always laughing and cracking jokes, trying to forget our modern crisis. Dreariness, crowding, lack of sunlight. I would join them, but I'm just not very funny. I hear you, buddy. We all know the underground has problems, but we smile anyways. Why? We can't do anything, so why be morose about it? You have a very, um, <clears throat> very, uh, passive outlook on it. Hello, library. Who are you? I love working on the newspaper. There's so little to report that we just fill it with comics and games. Cough, cough. When I was younger, my teachers gave me word searches then or when they ran out of assignments. I'm, I'm assuming she's a smoker. She looks like she's got a cigarette in her mouth. I thought they were a waste of time, but look at me now. I'm the number one word search creator in the entire underground. I don't know why I think smokers sound like that, but I do. Now look in your eye. You're someone that has trouble doing crosswords, aren't you? No. Hey, who are you? Welcome to the library. Yes, we know. The sign is misspelled. Wait, it is? Library. <laughs> I like it. What's this? It's a school report about monster funerals. Monster funerals, technically speaking, are cool as heck. When monsters get old and kick the bucket, they turn into dust. At funerals, we take that dust and spread it on that person's favorite thing. Then their essence will live on in that thing. Uh, I'm at the page... Am I at the page minimum yet? I'm kind of sick of writing this. I like it. While monsters are mostly made of magic, human beings are mostly made of water. Humans, with their physical forms, are far stronger than us but they will never know the joy of expressing themselves through magic. They'll never get a bullet pattern birthday card. <laughs> what? Here I am, writing this book. A person comes in and picks up the book. They start reading it. Oh, sorry, I'm still writing that one. Ha! <laughs> because they made, f because they are made of magic, monsters' bodies are attuned to their soul. If a monster doesn't want to fight, its defenses will weaken. And the crueler the intentions of our enemies, the more their attacks will hurt us. Therefore, if a being with a powerful soul struck with the desire to kill, um, let's end the chapter here. Monster History Part 4 Fearing the humans no longer, we moved out of our old city, home. We braved harsh cold, damp swampland, and searching, searing heat, until we reached what we now call our capital. New home. Again, our king is really bad at names. <laughs> Love, hope, compassion. This is what people say monster souls are made of, but the absolute nature of soul is unknown. After all, humans have proven their souls don't need these things to exist. Yeah, that's, that, that, that's, that's about right. Can I read this book? I can. Okay, so that's, uh, that's everything I need to know about the monster world. Wait, can I climb up the, the bookshelf? Can I climb up this? Nope. Okay, well, I guess I'm done there. Alrighty. Lib... Lib... Rare B? It's a mailbox overflowing with unread junk mail. This mailbox is labeled Papyrus. Look inside? Sure. It's empty. Aw, poor Papyrus. Hey, who's in this? It's locked. I'm assuming the other one is Sans. It's locked from the inside. Woo! Oh man, that is cool. <coughs> Woo! And we're going back in. That kind of sounds like Pokemon entering and exiting a, uh, a door or stairs. Uh. Hey, look, there goes an ice cube. In the background, I'm gonna follow. Oh, oh, it's freezing over on me. Oh, white out, white out. Uh, who did I just encounter? Oh, it's Papyrus. 
Hey, Papyrus. Human! Allow me to tell you about some complex feelings. Feelings like the joy of finding another pasta lover, the admiration for another another's puzzle-solving skills, the desire to have a cool, smart person that thi cool, smart person thinks you are cool. These feelings, they must be what you are feeling right now. I can hardly imagine what it must be like to feel that way. After all, I am very great. I don't ever wonder what having lots of friends is like. I pity you, lonely human. Worry not, you shall not be long lonely you shall be lonely no longer. I, the great Papyrus, will be your No, no. This is all wrong. I can't be your friend. You are human. I must capture you. Then I can fulfill my lifelong dream. Powerful, popular, prestigious. That's Papyrus, the newest member of the Royal Guard. I don't want to do this, buddy. Papyrus blocks the way. Let's check Papyrus. Papyrus, attack 20, defense 20. He likes to say, Nyah! Nyah! Wow, you called it. Um, okay. Papyrus remembered a bad joke Sans told and is frowning. A flirter. What? Flirting? So you finally reveal your ultimate feelings! Well, well! I'm a skeleton with very high standards! I have certain <laughs> redeeming qualities, I can make spaghetti. Oh no! You're meeting all my standards! I guess this means I have to go on a date with you! Let's date later, after I capture you. Um, I guess I'll just sit on the ground. Papyrus is thinking about what to wear for his date. Oh no! Let's date later, after the battle! I'm assuming that's what he says. After. Um... So you won't fight! Then, let's see if you can handle my fabled blue attack! Such intuitive gameplay. Oh! Okay. You're blue now. That's my attack. <laughs> You're blue now. Flirt. Papyrus is too busy fighting to flirt back. Let's date later! Okay, so, okay. Gotcha. I knew I wasn't going to be red forever. Papyrus dabs marinara sauce behind his ear. Why marinara sauce? What? What? I'm not thinking about the date thing. Well, I know why marinara sauce, because he's an idiot, but why marinara sauce? Ow. There we go. Clear. Papyrus dabs MTT brand Bishy cream behind his ear. What? Hold up longer to jump higher. Jeez. Oh crap, didn't quite make it. Didn't clear that one either. If I wasn't blinking, I wouldn't clear that other one. Brand anime powder. What the f hell is MTT brand? <laughs> okay, so I can't. Yeah, don't make me use my special attack! Ow. Ow. <laughs> I'm bad at this game. <laughs> Papyrus dabs cute juice. I can almost taste my future popularity! Ha ha ha. Ah, crap. <clears throat> ah! Ow. Papyrus Dev's MTT brand attraction slime behind his ear. Uh. Papyrus, head of the Royal Guard! <clears throat> Papyrus Dev's, uh, beauty yogurt. <laughs> what are any of these things, Papyrus? Papyrus, unparalleled Spaghettor! <laughs> that sounds like Skeletor. Skeletor made of spaghetti. Ow. Papyrus realizes he doesn't have ears. What a thing to realize. Undyne will be really proud of me! Ah, oh, crap. Didn't quite make it. Oh, shit. You're too weak. I was easily able to capture you. I will now send you to the capture zone, or as Sans calls it, our garage. You're in the doghouse now. Yeah. Did I did I lose? Did I did I lose? It's a note from Papyrus. Sorry, I have to lock you in the guest room until Undyne arrives. Feel free to make yourself at home. Refreshments and accommodations have been provided. Nifty yours, Papyrus. Unfortunately, it's just dry food. It's a squeaky chew toy. It's too small to sleep on. I can just walk out, can't I? 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, I got one. I got I got 20 health left. Okay. It's locked. Do I have to, um... I have to beat him, don't I? This label, mailbox is labeled Papyrus. No, I already looked inside. You realize that you would probably... That would probably be illegal. Yeah, I did that once, so I don't want to do it again. Um, I'll check what's north of town, and then I'll, uh... I think I'll call it an episode. I'm pretty sure this has been around 20 minutes. Uh, just shy of 20 minutes, maybe? Um... So, for those of you who are new, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. What is this? Knock, knock. Ah, what a beautiful knock. Maybe if I don't answer, I will hear it again. Who are you? Ah, to be young again. The world sure felt boundless. What is this? Let's play monsters and humans. I'm already a human. You're already a monster. Boom, we're done. Um... Okay, that's where all the icebergs are coming- well, rather, ice cubes are coming from. Gotcha. Okay, let's see if I can knock on this dude's door again. Ah, my patience rewards me. Ah. Okay, I don't think I'm getting in that house. I really don't think I'm gonna get in that house. And there's nothing to do up this way. Gotcha, okay. So yeah, um... <clears throat> When we come back, I will hopefully have beaten uh, Papyrus. Uh, so for those of you who are new, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe if you want to. But if not, then carry on your merry way. But for the rest of you ramblers, I'll catch you on the next video. Which, I guess I've already said this, but I'll be after Papyrus. Or maybe during the fight with Papyrus. Maybe I can finally get good. But yeah, bye everybody. It's been a lot of fun. Hope you had as much fun as I did. Bye!